Hey guys, uh, Jigsaw0097 here. Uh, just barely getting my reaction video in. Uh, the game's been over for a couple hours now, but I'm just finally getting the the reaction in. Oh, man, this this is a very frustrating loss for me, specifically because um, we dominated them, guys, the whole game. We had. Dallas pretty much playing catch up almost the entire game other than like the beginning where they scored that touchdown but the whole game man we uh we had them playing and then all of a sudden Doug Peterson just decides to play conservative football and the momentum just shifted as soon as um Wendell Smallwood fumbled that ball and I even looked over to my buddy who was watching it with me and I said you know if, if we lose this game you can go back and you can look at that play right there and say this is the reason that we lost that game because that was just some sloppy football I mean you got Darren Sproles running amazing all game I mean putting up like 200 yards and then Doug Peterson just decides to give it to Smallwood I mean I don't even blame Smallwood for that one he should have never even been in there in that situation. When a player is hot and he is playing like that, you don't take him out of the game. You keep using him. Just look at what Dallas did with Ezekiel Elliott. You see them, I mean, I guess they did put in Alfred Morris every now and then. But, I don't know, man. You just, you don't turn the ball over. Uh, and then there's still some other lingering issues like... Um, Nelson Aguilar dropping a ball right into his hands in the beginning of the game, which pretty much would have been a touchdown had he caught it. Um, Trey Burton, he dropped one, which he's kind of showing why he's a third string at this point because he's been dropping them. And then um, DGB dropped a couple, but I, I will say DGB did look um, much better in this game, so... Um, I'll just start with positives first off, real quick. Um, I think Carson Wentz had a great game. Um, he was limited to the bubble screens and the stupid slant passes from the sideline, be because that's just that's on Doug, man. He's just calling this this game the way that was and playing real conservative football. We didn't really, I never once felt like the Eagles were really attacking on offense. I mean, we were winning, but it was mostly because our defense kept um, getting the Cowboys off the field and they were actually containing Elliott for the majority of the game and then our offense did put up some did put up a touchdown or two just by driving the ball down the little dink and dunk style which is fine when you're when you're game managing but right in the end there um, another big dumb thing was uh, when we kicked it from like the Dallas 36 yard line instead of going for a field goal when um, Caleb Sturgis had made two, two in a row, 55 yards. Was it 55 or 56 yard field goals? I mean, he was he kicked it the first time and they iced him, and then he kicked it again and he got it, and it was like easy. So it's like you're not gonna trust him to do it on the Dallas 36. That was another, and it, it's crazy too because um, had we did that, um, this probably would have been a win. We would not have been going into overtime and then watching Dallas drive the ball down there uh, but um I don't think it's time to panic yet Eagles fans I mean this was a very ugly loss and we just dropped two division games in a row which just can't happen in the National Football League but um, I always said this is a rebuilding year I'm starting to throw a little more slack off Doug Peterson though he's not as much of a rookie as someone like Carson Wentz um, Doug Peterson has been on the sideline with guys like Andy Reid, um, Brett Favre. He should be. He should know by now what the hell he's doing, and he just doesn't. He looks clueless out there sometimes. Our defense played pretty well. I mean, I think our defense played really well, especially considering how much they were out there. So um, there were some positives there, but I'll probably make another video tomorrow or the next day or so, given more of my expanded thoughts on this but I don't know if this is a I'm gonna have to sleep on this one guys because this is a tough loss I I hate Dallas Cowboys so when I see this kind of loss I mean 
especially when we're dominating them. I'm going to hear it from Cowboys fans probably where uh, we beat you. Dak Prescott's better than Carson Wentz. But, you know, I'm not saying Dak Prescott isn't good. I never said the Cowboys weren't a good team. I just said they never really played anyone until us. And if you look, um, it was a very well-fought game. And the Eagles would have beat Dallas, but they beat themselves. So congratulations, Dallas. You get the win this time because um, we gave it to you. So enjoy it. Um, I'll see you, we'll see you guys in week 17 in Philly, that's all, and we'll see how that one goes. Maybe the season's on the line, so I kind of like those odds if that, that's the case. So, anyway guys, how do you feel about this loss? Um, are you disgusted? Are you, are you ready to give up on this team for the season? Are you kind of like me, where you still got, still got some, uh, reservations for what this team could be? I mean, I mean, what I'll end on is... Look how good Carson Wentz looks right now. Can you imagine if he had guys like Deshaun Jackson and Jeremy Macklin and LaShawn McCoy? Like, I know I'm dwelling on the past with those guys, but think of what would have been if he would have just had these guys. I mean, you got to remember that Chip Kelly has set this team back at least another couple years. What Howie Roseman did in the offseason already is amazing. I mean, we're going to recover much faster, I think. We just have no receivers. That's our biggest problem. I'll even give it up to Vitae this game. In the absence of Lane Johnson, Vitae was playing pretty well. The O-line was playing pretty well. I think Wentz only got sacked like two times. So There are definitely some positives here, guys. Our defense is still in the top three. I mean, they played against a tough Dallas O-line, and they actually were holding Ezekiel Elliott for the most part, putting pressure on Dak Prescott. Um, they got that interception of his as well. I mean, so I don't, I don't think it's time to panic at all. I mean, there's rumors this week that the Eagles are still going after Torrey Smith. So if they end up doing that, um, that'll be amazing. But we'll just have to see where this goes. We got New York next. Let's, uh, let's hammer this one out. Um, what do you guys think? Like I said, leave your, leave your comments in the, in the comments box below. Like, subscribe, check my other stuff out. And, as always, guys, I appreciate everything you guys uh, do, checking my stuff out. And, and uh, this is uh, Jigsaw0097 here, signing out.